For today's spray paint art tutorial, I wanted to do something a little bit different. I didn't want to do another space scene. I didn't want to do a traditional landscape. I just picked up a whole bunch of these transparent Montana gold cans. So today I'm going to walk you through what I came up with. I cut out a negative stencil. This is just helping me keep paint uh, from overspraying where I don't want it. I wanted it the exact size of my little sun, I suppose it is. Popping on my planet stencil here, I'm going to go in with this maroon red purple color from Montana Gold. Using a cloud stencil, you can check out how to make one of those in my 10 techniques you need to know for spray paint art. I'm just coming in, freestyling some clouds, just playing around with different values and uh, giving a deep look for these clouds. They're gonna get misted out in the background, but you're gonna see them throughout the painting. From here, I'm gonna brighten up this sunset scene with a little bit of orange, some fire red, coming in with pink, purple, the beautiful thing about these sunset scenes is you can play with all sorts of different colors and that's what I do throughout this whole painting. I'm really just experimenting uh, so feel free to come in and kind of mimic the techniques you're seeing uh, and play around with different colors for yourself. Popping in some nice bright yellows and just playing around with that overall look for my little sky scene. Uh, from here I'm going to go in, pop off my planet stencil and go in and overlay some bright, vibrant red clouds over top, and then work in with that dark maroon red color, uh, some more darker clouds over top of that sun. It's gonna give a little bit of a depth of field look to this and uh, brood things out a little bit more. It looks a little bit more dark and aesthetic. A Little bit of yellow, just brightening things up, playing around, touching little areas, and just kind of fine tuning things to my heart's content. Clouds are super easy. I'm just spraying that stencil, nice light spray coming in over top and misting. I'm using a lot of uh, vibrant orange, uh, almost transparent, but it's more of a neon color and some neon yellow as well. From here, I'm using that same maroon purple red color and coming in with a paintbrush, spraying some paint off to the side and creating uh, the outline of what are gonna be some mountains in the background here. So. No hard and fast rule. They don't have to look perfect. Uh, they can be misshapen, they can be different sizes. Just get something that looks right to you and you're all set. From here, I'm gonna throw on some clear coat, help me keep the paint a little bit loose. I'm just gonna go in on one side, mimicking where the sunset would be casting light. And I'm going in and lightening up one side of these mountains. I'm using Montana Gold spray paint all across the board today. Only bit of Rust-Oleum is the clear coat itself, and that's used pretty minimally for today's painting. Using a palette knife, scraping across. I'm gonna get started on my foreground here. And again, lots and lots of layers of paint here. Uh, there's no wrong answers. I'm just looking for the desired effect I'm going for. So I'm gonna layer lots of different colors, coming in with some white. This is the stage where I'm gonna use a lot of transparent paints. These are meant to kind of go over top of white. They're never gonna give full thick coverage. The white you're seeing here is still just the standard Montana gold, uh, but shortly here you'll see me come in with some purples, blues, pinks, and reds. And those colors are all transparent. So the reason I laid those white clouds down first is to give a nice vibrant base to these transparent paints. And you'll just see me play around with the new toys I got today tossing in different colors. You'll see the different depth come to life in these clouds as well over time. So it's really just about working up those layers, keeping all of my spray extremely light. I know I'm gonna go in with a bunch of different layers and you definitely don't want the paint uh, to pool up and build up. I'll toss some more layers of white over top here, uh, just accenting, highlighting little areas and playing around with some more color. I'm gonna toss in some yellow, some orange, and really this whole painting again is just experimentation. So take a cloud stencil and go to town with some of the colors you have in your arsenal and see what you guys can come up with. It was a pretty effective painting in the end. Uh, there's a couple times of watching and editing this video. I wish I almost would have stopped, uh, but the end result did turn out you know, pretty stunning. I'm happy with it. And the goal is to do something a little bit different. And I think I accomplished that with today's painting. You're gonna see me go over and over touching up, just fine tuning until I'm satisfied. I'm even gonna peel this tape off and then go back for an additional round on top of all this. So uh, beautiful thing about spray paint, it doesn't have to be done uh, until you say it's done. 
I've experimented quite a bit in this one and uh, this is the general result you're gonna see. At one point, I was satisfied here. I went ahead and signed this painting, but as you're gonna see, I did go back and make a few little adjustments. If you guys watched this video and enjoyed or you watch other spray paint art tutorials, make sure to hit subscribe. There's a ton of spray paint art videos, spray paint art tutorials here on the Aristotle channel and we'd certainly love to have you. If you're interested in owning some original artwork, head on over to Etsy. That's your place to pick up any Aristotle original you see here on the channel. And as always, slap that like button and we'll see you guys again in a future spray paint art video.